ladies and gentlemen, they got him. Maybe in the near future, probably not, but maybe, maybe Trump could be facing indictments. That is the strong signals that are being sent from the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. They've done a few things, including giving him an opportunity over the next week to come in and answer questions before grand jury. Generally seen as what you do before you launch these indictments against someone. Now, the pattern might be different for presidents since no one, none of them have ever been indicted before. But that's how people are evaluating these recent moves. Now, you are probably wondering what I was wondering when I saw these headlines. Wait, which investigation again? I know, I know, there's a lot. This is the hush money one. This is the Stormy Daniels one. Yes, they are still looking into that. And the the Manhattan Inquiry, which we're talking about here, spanned nearly five years, centers on a $130,000 payment to the former adult film star Stormy Daniels, who says that she had an affair with Mr. Trump. The payment was made in the final days of the 2016 presidential campaign by Michael Cohen, who was later reimbursed by Mr. Trump from the White House. Prosecutors have, as I said, offered Trump the chance to testify next week before the grand jury has been hearing evidence in this potential case. And they say that for District Attorney Alvin Bragg to do this generally means that they're going to be seeking charges against him. And yes, this would be historic. Charges like this would never have been launched. This particular case is unique in a few ways, which we're gonna talk about. But Brett, uh, initially, when this came out, I know everyone's like, "Oh God, it's finally gonna happen!" And I think they're backing off a little bit, um, at least in terms of thinking that after the charges, he'll face serious consequences. But it still does look like the charges could come. I demand one hundred and thirty thousand dollars in compensation because this whole thing made me picture Donald Trump having sex, and that is emotional and spiritual trauma from which I will never recover. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, no, let's. Listen, this is all fan fiction. This is all fantasy. This whole thing is pornography. This whole thing is a is is gives everybody what they want. This gives people who want Trump to be indicted to have that moment of hope where you think he'll be indicted and put in jail for up to four years, though it's not completely mandatory that he do that. Yeah. Uh, he'll be a felon. He'll get what's coming to him, and yeah. you get to revel in that. Fantasy that will never play out. And well, the for indictment who- part might. The actual him being a felon that is locked up in an orange jumpsuit, almost certainly not. Right, that's what I mean. But like that whole thing is part of a fantasy for this guy who is terrible and represents for a lot of us the opposite of what America should should be about. But he also represents what America should be about for a lot of a, a lot of people that that think that this is the way to be and. Like for the communist, you get mad when the rich person uses their, uh, you know, corruptly uses their capital to get free uh, and not pay any consequences that other people have to struggle through. But for the capitalist American, this is a different kind of porn. He is the lifestyles of the rich and famous. It is it is related to the idea of the peasants loving the monarch. You have at yeah. least someone who's living the good life. Who gets to sleep with porn stars and pay hush money and get away with it and never suffer any any consequences? It's that kind of fantasy. And for yeah. them, they're happy because he's gonna walk through the raindrops and dodge all the entrapment lasers as he, you know, spy he, he makes his trap. way toward freedom. Yeah, yeah. You don't often set up those lasers outside. Um, but yeah, uh, I think your read of how this will eventually end up, I think, is. Probably accurate. The way that they're trying to catch him in this particular case, it's it's one of those novel legal theories or whatever. So the idea is they did the transfer of the payments. Almost nobody doubts that. And uh, and isn't it fun to just note yet again that no conservative seems to have any problem whatsoever with this. I mean, yeah. whether whether they whether they admit that he had the affair or not, which he definitely did. Um, the fact that he did the hush money payments in the immediate lead up to a, a presidential election, not a single one gives a single damn about that. Um, and I have to assume that if Biden had done the same thing, they also wouldn't care. Anyway, um, but it's a thing where with the transfer of the money and the repayments, then that effectively was a benefit to his campaign. So this is sort of like unreported campaign funding, which means that this would rise from what you would normally expect in this particular case, which, which would be a misdemeanor. To if you allow it to be connected to that being sort of a contribution in kind, then it becomes a felony. 
we don't know if a jury is going to accept that, let alone unanimously accept that. So it does become a complicated thing. Uh, briefly, Brett, what are you about to say? What he did, in my opinion, is not something so horrible. It would change my opinion of him if I liked sure. him. Sure. You know, like Bill Cosby did stuff that is so horrible that even the guy that was a father figure to millions of people, they're like, whoa, yeah. can't go along with this. This is like with a through a complex legal theory. He slept with someone and just didn't want you to know about it. Like, eh, yeah, he's horrible. Yeah, I mean, he's, look, that's way that's that's on brand for him. Yeah, definitely on brand for him. I think, and I think it's the brand that they actually like. But many of them would imply they're, they're very pious. Yeah, so stupid, fair or anything. Come on, it's clear. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.